suck for luck that campaign is kind of ringing bells for me now and that's uh, the news which we um, uh, I heard uh, at this point it's a couple of days now already Tunsil stills uh, traded bye bye from the Dolphins going over to the Texans there for a bunch of draft picks now depending on how you look at it the two two sides of the coin there you might be saying Tunsil going out our tackle you might be saying it's not about this year it's that Tunsil could have been a star for the next 10 seasons at a premium position one of the top four in the game trading him away you might argue for a few dice rolls is moronic do you seriously believe that we will pick well and build a top team in the Dolphins management Flores and, and company no you might say they will suck uh, they will suck the worst in history for a few years maybe climb back to mediocrity in five and then start all over rebuilding You might be tired of this franchise. You might be saying that they are the worst in NFL history. You don't have any confidence in them. Here's what I would say, because I've been reading the message boards, and that's what a lot of fans have been saying. There are two ways to look at this, and I believe it is building for the future. We as the Miami Dolphin franchise are in a total rebuild. Not a reload. Something uh, we've tried for decades. And how has that worked out for us? Let's be honest. We weren't going to win this season or next for that matter anyway. Yes, we had an up and coming star left tackle in Tunzel. And we all know how hard they are to come by but no one knows if Tunsil is or ever will be elite even if he is what insurances would we have that we could lock him up long term and by the time we became competitive he'd still be playing at a high level can any, can anyone say Jake Long Hell, the Browns had the best left tackle play the game in decades, and he wasted his whole career away in Cleveland. Where is he now? Now that the Browns are expected to finally play competitive football, where is he? Sometimes you have to take huge risks to gain huge reward. This franchise, by this trade, has set themselves up to really make some huge waves come the next couple of drafts it, it may work out for us as the organization it may not but in my honest opinion it, it gives us a legitimate shot and as Finns fans we haven't been able to honestly say that in a very very long time a lot of people are upset Comparing it to losing to Zonka, Warfield, to the WFL with this type of trade. It's a left tackle. Guys, it's not Dan Marino in his prime. We weren't going to win with him. We weren't going to win without him. But we have a crap load of draft picks moving forward. It's funny because if you check the Houston fans comments they're screaming right now for Bill O'Brien's head for making this deal they want his head saying that they gave up way too much I guess someone's perception isn't always reality I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon.